Today I want to share with you a brief reflection from two ayat, ayahs number 21 and 22 of Surah Al-Anfal. And in these two ayat, Allah Azza wa Jal talks about the act of listening. وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ قَالُوا سَمِعْنَا Don't be like the people who say we've heard. وَهُمْ لَا يَسْمَعُونَ And in fact, the fact of the matter is that these people, they're not really listening. So don't become passive listeners. When you listen, this ayah has very profound implications on what, what kind of listeners you become. You know, right now we get exposed to so much media, right? So you're listening to something and you're watching something at the same time and you're listening to your parents talk or whatever. And we just, we're taking in multiple things and we're not really paying attention to any one thing. We have to become people that when we hear something, we give it full attention. Nowadays, it's very common to find people even sitting in a Jumu'ah khutbah, in a lecture, in a talk, in a dhafs, in a reminder. As a matter of fact, even while you're watching this video, some of you are probably checking text messages right now. Some of you are probably updating Facebook right now, as you're listening to this. As you're listening to this. And you're kind of half listening and half doing something else. Allah says, don't be like people who say we hear, but they're not really listening. But they're not really listening. And obviously this is talking about the etiquette that they're supposed to show to Rasulullah So the first thing is about attention span. The first bit of advice here is when you listen to someone or listen to something, because it doesn't even say who you should listen to, it's just a matter of etiquette now that we're supposed to be good, attentive listeners. When your mom is talking to you, put your phone down. When your teacher is talking to you, put your phone down, put it away. Don't do, don't do anything. Let it go. Because it's, it's going to distract you. Don't look out the window when the teachers, for the kids here that are listening, you know. Your teacher's talking, just listen. Don't do other stuff. Don't doodle, don't draw. Just listen. Sometimes your teacher says, put your pen down, put your pencil down, put your iPads down. Just listen. And you should just do that. Just listen. Don't be like people who say they listen, but they don't really listen. The second thing is there are people who listen, but they don't really internalize. You know, the word listening is interesting in every language. In, in English, in Urdu, in Farsi, in Arabic, it's an interesting word. You know, we say to somebody, I tried to give him advice, but he didn't listen. And what does that mean? He didn't listen. Doesn't mean he didn't hear anything. It means he didn't heed the advice. He didn't actually live by it. He didn't, nothing changed in him. I'm trying to tell you, but you're not listening. You're not listening, meaning you're not accepting what I'm saying. So part of the meaning is, don't be like people who say, yeah, yeah, I know, I heard that already. I already got that advice. But the fact of the matter is, you're not taking heed. You're not actually considering the advice realistically for yourself. You're just brushing it off. It's just kind of a, you know, a ceremonial thing that you just listen and you don't, nothing really changes. Isn't that what the case is for many of us that even go to Khutbat al Jumu'ah? We go and we listen to the khatib and he gives us some advice and we don't really listen. It's not really something we're going to put into practice. Your guidance counselor gives you advice and you listen. Your accountant gives you advice and you listen. Your doctor gives you advice and pretty much most of the time you listen. The police officer tells you to do something and you listen. When Allah tells you, your parents tell you, an imam tells you, the Quran tells you, you listen but you don't really listen. Don't be like those people. Then Allah says, and by the way, people who listen but don't really listen, He compares them to animals. Now why is that? Now it's not just because Allah is angry, but because there's a pretty cool parallel. You can give an animal a lecture, you're probably not going to get much of a change in an animal's behavior. So if Allah is saying, if you hear something beneficial and there's no change in your behavior, the experience of giving you advice is pretty much the same as the experience of giving a monkey advice, or giving a cat advice. It's not really going to change in its behavior. So in the next ayah, he says, "Inna sharra dawa bi Allah." The worst kind of animals, as far as Allah is concerned, asum al bukum. So first he called them animals. Then he said, the worst kind of animals are asum al bukum, the mute, and the the, uh, the mute and the incapable of speech. You know, or the, the, the deaf and the mute rather. They're deaf and they're mute. And assume al book, they're not going to be able to think. Now, why did he mention, you know, that they're mute, they can't speak? This is the last thing I want to share with you in, this, in these ayat. When you don't listen properly, you're not able to communicate your thoughts properly. What you didn't hear properly, you're not able to say properly. Sometimes in a, in a classroom, the teacher says, listen to this carefully because tomorrow you'll have to repeat it to me. They say in Arabic, Asa'a sam'an fa asa'a ijabatan. You listen poorly, so you responded poorly. Allah is saying, if you don't listen carefully, then you're not, not going to be able to answer carefully. Here's what I want you to think about. Right now, I may not be listening carefully, but I can certainly speak. But judgment day will come. And then the only people who will clearly be able to speak are people that listened carefully in this world.
there when when we are taken it the angels come to our graves and they ask us mar rabbuk who's your master who's your lord the people who listened carefully and not just in passing they listened and took heed are going to be able to say allah the people who are not who didn't take this seriously even though they were muslims the angels will ask who's your master they're not going to be able to speak allah says the worst kind of animals are the ones who can't speak fahum la yaqilun they don't even realize they don't even think about what they're doing may allah azza wa jalla make us a people of thought and make us a people of careful attentive listening and may, may allah give us the strength of character and the strength of will to live by what we listen to barakallahu li wa lakum wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh